If a project must be done in a hurry, animations can be finished fast, but doing so is often very resource intensive and will increase the overall cost of the project. However, if more people work on it, the process can be twice as fast or even faster. Another factor that can affect the work duration is the open dialogue between the client and the studio or the communication between the team working on it, if it is not going to be a project for a client. This will ensure that everyone is on the same page and that each phase of the animation process is delivered on time. And if you want to create your 3D animation as an independent artist, then the time it takes depends on the complexity of the animation and the level of detail needed, in addition to your experience, of course. Generally speaking, one simple animation of a couple of minutes without characters and without a lot of details can be completed within one week or two. Nonetheless, more intensive scenes with more complicated movements and animations could take up to several weeks or even months. The standard timeline to complete a 3D animation process can be broken down into a number of stages, which are briefing, brainstorming, script writing, concept art, storyboarding, in addition to modeling, rigging, animation, rendering, and sound design. Each stage of the process is part of the success of your animation, because the overall aim of the process is to make sure that your creative vision will come to life. Before we continue, if you want to learn more about cinematic keyframing, color keying, storyboarding, and stylized visual development, then this training I'm going to talk about right now got all that in a bundle of lessons delivered to you by George, who is a freelance concept artist, keyframe artist, and an illustrator working in the film and game development industry. In the first lesson, you will get to know about the process of cinematic frames using Blender with George. In the next chapter, you will go through the process of how to make color keys but without going through the color theory, because this training is gonna be about the subjects at hand, so it is better to be familiar with the fundamentals and how to use Blender in general. The third chapter is all about making animations and storyboarding using the grease pencil tool inside Blender, in addition to cameras, lights, and effects. Finally, the fourth chapter is going to be about stylized visual development. You will learn about shaders and render settings in addition to color management. If you are interested in this course, you will find the necessary links in the description. The first step of producing a 3D animation is to design a creative brief. And this process can take just a few days to finish. And just because your story is not complicated doesn't mean you will not need a script. This process will just take a day or maybe a couple of days to sometimes a few weeks depending on the size of the project. To jump from just words and ideas to something visual, the step that is going to link all that is storyboarding. This phase can be done in one week or two and sometimes more depending on how many people are working on it. After that, there is an optional step to create a rough visual representation of your ideas before they are put into the final product, which is called concept art. Concept art is a great way to bring the artistic vision closer to 3D artists. Using it, they can see clearly how characters and environments look after 2D concept artists drew or painted the world of the animation project. This part of the process takes approximately a few days to a few weeks as we said depending on the complexity and the length of the project, and sometimes it keeps going on even during production. Next is 3D modeling, which is where the rubber touches the road because this phase is about making 3D models that will be eventually animated, including characters and environments using 3D software such as Blender, Maya, Max, Cinema 4D, etc. For example, if the character is simple, like a cartoony character, it might take the modeling artist one or two days at most. But if it is a complex character with a lot of facial and body details, in addition to distinctive styles of clothing and accessories, it might take a couple of weeks or more. Just to clarify, under what we call modeling there is sculpting, UV unwrapping, shading and texture painting all at once, just to make it simpler. Rigging and animation can take up to one month or two for a few minutes long animation. That's the case in character animation because it is labor intensive. If it is an educational 3D video, an explainer video or a video that is made with motion graphics, then it may take much less time compared to 3D character animation. One thing that might help is the fact that animation is getting easier for both character and non-character animation using add-ons and plugins used within 3D software. However, for character animation especially, there is still a lot of work involved in the process because sometimes it involves a lot of manual work. 
when it comes to the length of each process, these are just approximate numbers, so please take this with a grain of salt, because the variants are endless. Now we're gonna talk about rendering. This part itself can be time consuming, not your personal time or the time of the team working on the project. Instead, it requires high performing machines and may take hours to render just one frame. You can easily optimize the rendering process to gain time, but sometimes this comes at the cost of quality, however this option is always there. If the animation is realistic and complicated, it may take days to be rendered with a high performing machine, but to gain time you can use render farm services. With all that being said, rendering depends on the resolution and other rendering settings in addition to the type of animation whether it be cartoonish, stylized, realistic or hyper realistic. After rendering, you will need to adjust the colors and apply effects with video editing software. To complete your animation video, you need to add sound effects and music tracks. The animation you want to create may need a voiceover, which may take a few days to finish depending on the complexity of the dialogue if there is any. But I would say that this is something you should worry about if you are gonna create a long story, or if your project includes a lot of character interactions. After understanding each phase and the approximate time it takes, the time and cost of 3D animation can vary greatly from project to another. If you have never created an animation project before, it would be better if the 3D animation videos don't exceed a few minutes, and preferably less than 5 minutes. First of all, because 3D animation projects are usually complex and labor intensive. For this reason, you don't want to quit due to length and problems that will eventually arise throughout the production. Sometimes it's gonna cost a lot of money, especially if you're not gonna monetize it. And this is time you could use to work on something else that you are gonna be paid for. This video was created just to give you the perspective you need and some broad ideas on the topic. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and you can also take a look at some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.